In this video, we are going to focus on classifying compounds as being either stereoisomers, enantiomers, diastereomers, meso compounds, and even constitutional isomers. But you need to understand that enantiomers and diastereomers are a subcategory of stereoisomers. So we need to distinguish constitutional isomers from stereoisomers first. So let me give you two pairs of compounds. So let's compare the first two. What is the relationship between these two? And what is the relationship between these two molecules? Well, the first two are known as stereoisomers. The last two are constitutional isomers. So what is the difference between a constitutional isomer and a stereoisomer? First, for all isomers, they all have the same chemical formula, but a different structure. Now, constitutional isomers differ in their conductivity. The alcohol in the first molecule is attached to carbon-2, and the second molecule is attached to carbon-3. So constitutional isomers are connected differently. Stereoisomers are connected the same way. Notice that in both cases, the bromine atom is attached to the same carbon, that is carbon number two. Then notice that the arrangement in space is different. Even though both bromine atoms are attached in the same carbon, the first bromine atom is directed out of the page. It's towards the front. The second one is behind the page, towards the back. So even though they're connected the same, their spatial arrangement is different, which makes them stereoisomers. Now, this particular stereoisomer is known as an enantiomer. Enantiomers are basically non-superimposable mirror images of each other. Notice that the chiral center is different in this molecule compared to this one. The chiral center has been reversed. Whenever you change the chiral center, you're going to have an enantiomer if all chiral centers change. Consider these two molecules. Describe the relationship between them. Let's use chlorine this time. So what is the relationship between these two molecules? Notice that the first chiral center remains the same. The second chiral center changes. When some of the chiral centers change their configuration, but not all of them, what you have is a diastereomer. So for example, let's say if we have the, let's say if there's three chiral centers, R, 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 and we're comparing it to another molecule that is R, S, R, this would be a diastereomer. But now let's say if we have R, 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 and another molecule is S, S, S. And if there's no plane of symmetry, then we would have uh, enantiomers. So to get an enantiomer, all of the chiral centers must change. But to have a diastereomer, only some should change, but not all. Now, what is the relationship between these two molecules? Notice that all chiral centers have changed their configuration. The first one uh, changed. It was in the front, now it's in the back. And the same is true for the second one. So does that mean that we have a pair of enantiomers, which is a type of stereoisomer? Notice that we have a plane of symmetry. So therefore, these molecules are achiral molecules. 
An a chiral molecule can never be an enantiomer. Instead, what we have is a pair of meso compounds. Meso compounds have a plane of symmetry, and even though the chiral centers are reversed, these compounds are actually the same. They are identical molecules. Let's try another example. Now what about these two? How would you classify them? So notice that the first chiral center changed. The OH group was in the front, now it's in the back. And the second chiral center changed as well. So all chiral centers were reversed in their configuration. And notice that we do not have a plane of symmetry. The OH group on the left side of the line is in the front, and the other one's in the back. So there's a lack of symmetry. Therefore, these two are known as enantiomers. They are mirror images of each other. So whenever all chiral centers change, and if there's a lack of symmetry, you are going to have a pair of enantiomers. If all chiral centers change, and if there's a plane of symmetry, that's a good indication that you have a meso compound. And if some chiral centers change, but not all, then you have diastermers. And if they're connected differently, then you have a case of constitutional isomers. How would you describe the relationship between these two molecules? So feel free to pause the video and take a minute to answer this question. So notice that the first chiral center remained the same, but the second one changed. Whenever only some chiral centers change, but not all, then we have a case of diastermers. By the way, you can also describe it as cis-trans geometric isomers. This is the cis isomer, this is the trans isomer. Cis-trans geometric isomers are always diastermers, but not all diastermers are cis-trans isomers. So these two would be cis-trans geometric isomers. On the left, we have the trans isomer. This is trans-2-butene. On the right, cis-2-butene. Now what about these two? Are they identical or are they different? What would you say? These two molecules are identical. This carbon is not chiral. The left side is identical to the right side. So because the carbon is not chiral, there's no need to use the symbol to put it in the front or in the back. So these are identical molecules. What about these two? What is the relationship between these two molecules? These are not diastermers. Even though some chiral centers change, but not all, notice that the connectivity is different. Here, the two bromine atoms are on carbons 1 and 3. And in the molecule on the right side, the two bromine atoms are on carbons 1 and 2. So we have a case of constitutional isomers since they're connected differently. Let's try another example. Describe the relationship between these two molecules. So 
So what's your answer? So notice that we have a plane of symmetry in both molecules, and the chiral centers do indeed change, so it can't be enantiomers due to the line of symmetry. So therefore, these two are meso compounds. They are identical to each other.